News 6 reporter James Barbero is live in Rockledge where people are feeling relief. James. Well, tonight there's a lot of excitement for folks who got to go from Rockledge to Coco, finally over that 520 causeway to get back over to Merritt Island and beyond. Those folks, some waited hours, some they didn't have to wait long at all because they came here at night. We caught up with one of them. You know, the governor said, uh, this could kill you. We said, yeah, let's get out of here. Away from home for 48 hours, it's a huge relief for Cliff Miller to be back on Merritt Island and still have everything that's so important. Yeah, we Most have everything. Very, yes, very, exactly. The house is intact. We just got to do some cleanup. It's, it's great, and everybody in the neighborhood is safe. And Cliff can smile real wide because he came home to a house with power. Matthew turned the lights off for more than one million Floridians, including thousands in Brevard. We lucked out. I don't know. I was told by Linda across the street here that uh, it was on the whole time. Never went off. This island resident of nine years looks forward to relaxing this weekend, getting life back to normal before anyone on the barrier islands had to fear a Category 4 storm. To get home, Cliff and his girlfriend crossed the 520 causeway. They crossed tonight, but earlier today, a lot of folks had to wait. Some of them very frustrated. 520 was one of the last major Brevard causeways to reopen. And uh, the only answer we get is three hours. It's past the three hours, and they're still giving the answer now. It's three hours from now. But taking the consideration into factor as you look at a little debris here along the Indian River, Sheriff Wayne Ivey says to his knowledge, no fatalities in Brevard, and Matt Ginger, that's the most important thing of all. It really is, and Matt Cliff is a very lucky man to have power tonight. Thank you, James Barbera, reporting live. I'm jealous. <laughs>